So let's check how to manage uh, or automate the deferred revenue for that. Let's just get into the accounting module and under configuration you can see, I mean configuration menu you, you can see the deferred revenue models. First we need to create a model. So here we can see a model which is already uh, configured by Odoo. In order to create a new model, click on new and we can give the name of the model. So let the name of the model be annual subscription. And here we can see depreciation method and we can give the number of uh, recognition. So I'm setting the uh, number as 12 months. So here we need to change from years to months. And uh, deferred revenue model provides three types of computation that is now pro rata, uh, constant periods and based on days per period. And we have already discussed the computation in other video. So if you have any doubt regarding the computation, please do, do check out the video. And we need to set the accounting. That is, we need to set uh, the accounts like deferred revenue account and revenue account. So let me set a deferred revenue account. For that, we need to create an account. That is deferred revenue. And letting the code uh, as 156, you can give the code. And the type of the deferred revenue account is current liability. And under automation, we are setting the automate, I mean, automate deferred revenue as create in draft. And here we also need to give the model name. So let me see if this is enough. And we also give, I uh, need to give a revenue account. So revenue account. We need to create a revenue account. Now the type of the revenue account is income. We need to set a code to. Now let me save the model. Now go to internal uh, link of the deferred revenue account and under automation you can see deferred revenue model field. So we need to give the, uh, yeah, uh, model name. So annual uh, subscription is a name. So save this. After that, we need to create a product for that. Go to customer tab and choose products. Now you can create a new product uh, and the type of the product must be service. And let's set the product name as Netflix subscription. So we are taking an annual subscription for Netflix. Now you can set the sales price as 1000. And let me close the customer taxes. Now save the product. Now you need to create an invoice. So for that, uh, we need to show the depreciation in the revenue. So for that, just go to the invoices and you can click on new and give the customer name. And here you can choose the newly created product that is the service product, Netflix uh, subscription. And uh, close the tax. And you always need to change the account uh, in the invoice lines and set the account as deferred revenue. Okay. Now uh, you can save this invoices and confirm. So once you confirm the invoice, you can see a smart tab of deferred revenue will be uh, created here. Uh, and when you click on the deferred revenue smart tab, you can see as we set the uh, automation as create uh, in draft, you can see the uh, invoice is currently that is the deferred revenue is created in dra draft state. And once you click on uh, compute revenue, you can see uh, an additional tab will be triggering here. Uh, and we have choose uh, the, the computation that we gonna use is not pro rata and the amount is set as minus thousand because we know that uh, deferred revenue are the unearned revenue such payments are considered as liability for the company because uh, since it offs to the customer for the product or services now you can click on confirm so once you click on confirm from the draft state this will be moving to the running state 
okay now here you can see two posted entries uh, journal is created and we can see half the amount is divided and uh, uh, for the service uh, for uh, uh, taking the service now uh, choose the model that is deferred revenue model and let's get into the internal link of the deferred revenue and change the automation now under automation you can see uh, we can change the automated deferred revenue into create and uh, validate now save this and create another invoice so give the customer name and you can choose the service product and here we need to change the account that is deferred revenue and yeah let's give the uh, price and save the changes and you can click on confirm so once you click on confirm you can see uh, deferred revenue smart tab is created here and get into the uh, smart tab and here you can calculate uh, the deferred revenue and yeah here you can see that as you select the automation as um, create and validate once you uh, confirm uh, the invoice the the model will be moving into the draft i mean from the draft state it will be automatically moving to the running state now if you want to change any uh, and make any changes in the revenue you can click on modify revenue and can change uh, the settings like you can uh, uh, change the actions to uh, dispose sell uh, reevaluate pause and here you can also set the gain account so currently i'm not making any changes and closing this so uh, this is how we manage the automation in deferred revenue so that's all about deferred revenue